Hi there, and let me start with an apology for colour balance on this camera. You may see the background colour changing a little bit as I show you different aspects of this lighting. Uh, the point of this video is to tell you about Atom uh, lights, RGB plus white lights. Uh, these are pre tasmoded So what I'm going to show you is a quick flyby of my living room here with one, two, three, four of the Tasmoda lights running on full brilliance warm white light. That's not the point of this video, but it'll give you an idea of what I use these for. These are the 15 watt Atom pre tasmoda lights, and they are very bright. You can see sunlight out there. It's, it's that strong, the sunlight, that I've actually got the windows partly closed. These are giving a reasonable amount of light off. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick whiz through to my office where I want to show you the new lights I've just received. Okay, I'm back in my office where I'm going to show you the 7 watt version of the Atom smart bulb. Uh, bear in mind, uh, Atom do a couple of different kinds of smart bulb. They do very smart home compatible and ESP home, but these are the Tasmota compatible, so they've been pre flashed with Tasmota software. Um, I've had tremendous success with them, and that is the only reason I'm showing you this video now. Uh, in the other room, I showed you four of the 15 watt Atom pre Tasmota lights, and where others have failed with with rubbish power out here in the countryside in Spain or Wi-Fi issues, the Athoms have always come back. So initially when they first created these they gave me a 7 watt bulb and it was no good. Uh, I was about to abandon the whole thing when they sent me some of the 15 watt bulbs and they've been absolutely superb. So what I'm going to do, this is straight out of the box, I'm going to take this I thumb 7 watt pre tasmoded bulb. I don't think the camera's going to handle this too well because it's bright. There it is on full cold brilliance. Just flicked over to red, over to green, over to blue, and now to cold white, warm white, red. You can't really tell that well, can you, on this, on this phone? These are fully saturated colours. Now, what you do with this, you on your smartphone, when you first get the light, like all Tasmoded products, it will have its own Wi-Fi access point. Um, and you'll be able to talk to that access point. And then you simply go in and tell it what your home access point is. Uh, that will tell the Tasmoded light to start using that anyway there it is as I'm using the phone um, to do this video I can't do that and program it up at the same time so I'm going to stop the video I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi settings and tell the phone to use the Atom access point sure enough I went into the access point settings on my phone and had it go look for an access point that started with the word Tasmoda and that popped up and I'll show you that in an overlay that's that's sitting behind this video right now I'll show you that the lights stop flashing and the um, access point settings are waiting for me to tell the lamp about my Wi-Fi and that's it so the lamps has successfully accepted my Wi-Fi. I can go across to my PC now and enter the details in that appeared on the screen. At this point, clearly, there are a number of ways I could set this up. I choose to set up the light to work with my Node Red MQTT settings. So first of all, there is the screen showing the now renamed lamp Tasmota 7W-1 because I have two of them so I'm going to call 1-1, 1-2 and in the simplest case I can simply what are we there, we're on white, full brilliance I can just 
change that to full saturation, i.e. red. Um, let's change the color to green. You can probably see that in the background, but I'll just flick across to the light and show you that it's just gone to green. Um, and of course, you, you can have any amount of saturation you like from white at one end to, to green at the other end. In the middle there, I get a very light green lamp. And that's basically the, the, the rest of it. You'll see where I set up lamps for MQTT, etc. in different videos. That lamp is now set up and ready to go. I didn't have to open it up or do anything. I can go into configuration, configure MQTT. Uh, this is Tasmota, it's nothing specific to the Atham lamp, but they've made it so easy for you. You don't have to open the lamp up to do anything. Uh, it's pre-programmed. Oh, uh, let's have a look. What version are we looking at there? It says assembled by Atham Tech and Tasmota but it probably won't be the latest version of Tansmota. So why don't I just go in and do what I always do and go to firmware upgrade. I just happen to have already downloaded in the last few days um, Tansmota files. If I choose file, go to downloads, I'll find somewhere a Tasmota minimal. Uh, you can do this as a one step process, but I prefer to do it in two steps um, just to be safe. That's now a minimum version of Tasmota on the lamp that will only accept Wi Fi uh, connections and the simple web interface, nothing else. In a few seconds, it will be ready to um, finish off the upgrade and that will be using the second of the files that are downloaded from the Tasmota website. Right, let's have a look. Uh, and start the upgrade and within a matter of seconds I should have, I don't know if you can see that there, version 12.0.2.4 by Theo Ahrens that is the latest version of Tasmoda on my lamp without opening it up or anything. And there we are, a fully upgraded lamp running the, the latest Tasmoda and ready to go. And I will just set that lamp back to full white. In this case, full warm white. I really don't like the cold white on any of these lamps and there it is all set up and ready to go I can just add that into my node red installation now just as I've added all the other lamps here you see the new lamps in place working alongside the others and so I'm going to show you the controls that would normally be on my phone but I can't really use them on my phone while I'm doing a video we'll go to the main cave uh, cave lighting and turn it off you'll notice it gets dark and so do the two new lamps turn it back on again and We'll set the lamps to, I think, red. And all of the lamps in the room, including the two brand new ones, I'm <laughs> dead chuffed about this, have gone to red, no problem at all. And of course, um, if uh, any of you follow my blog, you'll know I'm responsible for the Node Red Big Timer software and so normally these lights are all controlled by a timer but I can just override them if I want to manually and there it is the two new 7 watt Tasmodad lights from Athon